Right, we're back, and uh, of course I forgot to mention all those wonderful cassettes, so I thought perhaps we'd do that on the deck of the garage. Right, the first one is Ray Ross Conway. Uh, looks rather nice. A long time ago, this one is called. I haven't played these yet. All I do know, this one says it was uh, £4.99 when it was new. So that was that one. Uh, now, this lady you may know, Jay McDonald. Now, she was on a, she featured on a BBC program called, I think it was BBC, uh, called The Cruise. Uh, yes, it was. It says on the front there, the star of the BBC TV's The Cruise. And uh, this uh, is a late 1988 cassette. Uh, you can always tell that the, uh, the newer ones come with these rather nice edges now. And also the liner notes are actually, it's like, a, it's like a great big thing that comes out. So it goes into great detail. In fact, Jane has detailed every note of her singing, actually. All the words are there, so you can sing along. Of course, her famous ones are on here. Uh, you, are, you Are My World, of course, that she sung. And um, I understand that she now appears on uh, another television programme. Um, not the one that I probably want to watch, but um, where uh, they uh, they all sit around talking about their lives and uh, all about men, apparently, which sounds great if you're into daytime television. Uh, Irving Berlin, this is an interesting cassette. This is just an orchestral version of his songs, Cheek to Cheek, Easter Parade, Let's Face the Music and Dance and Heat Wave. Uh, but uh, quite nice. It almost reminds you of some of that escalator music you'd have in supermarkets. Um, can't say it's going to become one of my favourite, but again, a late 1988 on Pickwick, um, and uh, quite a nice listen. Uh, this one here, Ray Charles. Ray Charles, I do I ever cross your mind? Haven't played that. Yet. This one's on. It says chrome oxide tape, dioxo tape, so obviously a higher quality. Uh, and that one. Uh, this I found was interesting in that we've just celebrated 70 years of the Royal Air Force. And we've got here Salute to, Hi Salute to Heroes, the central band of the Royal Air Force, uh, a new digital recording to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. Well, I've already got a record that celebrates 25 years, which is 45 years old. This one is 50, so uh, and now we're celebrating 70, so I'll be interested to listen to that. It's quite a good one. Uh, one that I did enjoy listening to yesterday when I got home was Glenn Miller, his orchestra and vocalist love songs. Uh, this one features a vocalist all of those, on all of the tracks, uh, featuring Stardust, Fools Rush In, Serenade in Blue, Everything in Love and Sentimental Time. So that's a very nice listen, that one, I have to say. And last of all, Sammy Davis Jr. Now this one here, he's more likely doing sort of country and western type numbers. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got uh, What I Got On My Mind, uh, Come Sundown, Mention a, ma a, a, a Mansion, You're Gonna Love Yourself in the Morning, and so on. It's, that's quite a nice listen to. I like Sammy Davis Jr. I think he's got a wonderful voice. So, so there we go. So that's all the cassettes. Now I've remembered to put them on. And uh, now, we can, as you can see, the uh, Garrard SP25 Mark II has now been repositioned back into its motorboard. And the edging that I tirelessly uh, restained or stained the woodwork from that dowel I got from the local B&Q is now in place. And I've cleaned all the screws up. And actually, it looks quite nice. I actually think it looks quite smart. And uh, so, and if I can manage to just turn, just turn it over. L's just finished playing his bit for me. I'll show you the underside. There we go. So it all looks very smart, and uh, everything's in working order. It's all been re-greased and ready to go. Uh, obviously, the transit screws. I've screwed those down firmly. These are the transit screws where they come through from the other side, um, and. Uh, it's got a new, nice new long cable. I made sure that we had a nice new... This is the original plug, which was quite, quite all right. I quite like that, that old-fashioned looking plug, but it's quite safe. I've tested that out. And I'm just about to put to these uh, RCA uh, connectors, which I've cleaned up. They're quite rusty, but they do. They're OK. Rather than change them, I'm going to leave them. And I'm going to then add in a... Um, an RCA cable, which is 1.5 metres, which will give me plenty of length. Uh, and uh, and of course put the base on. Now the base, of course, will fit on the bottom. 
Um, I have actually ordered some new um, rubber feet uh, because the old ones, actually I don't think they're that bad having, I think I might, well, I don't know, I've ordered them from the boys at Mafflin's because they, they don't stock this size but here they are, these are the old ones, they don't actually look too bad do they? I think actually they might do in the interim anyway because they, they screw the whole thing together so they need to be there. Um, so, uh, but, uh, you know, it should be okay. So there we are. So it's all looking rather smart now. And uh, I, I'm quite pleased with it, actually. Um, having said that, I've actually, be, <laughs> I've actually managed to get another one of this type, which has a very nice wooden plinth, which I've now secured uh, on eBay. And it's actually on its way. Um, and I think I paid about £15. Well, these decks are really cheap as dirt now. Um, uh, but I did double check that the return mechanism is actually working. There's uh, clearly an inherent fault with these that you can't fix, and that's once the return has uh, worn from the uh, velocity velocity uh, cycle and the bit on the turntable. I think that's it. Then I think you had to accept that unless you're going to get another turntable to replace it, uh, then it's going to be a case of you know it will just continue on the spindle. Uh, track until you take the arm off, which is a big shame because they're just wonderful decks and I'm looking forward to testing this one out uh, with its cartridge. Um, I'm going to leave the centerpiece off until I've definitely got the speed right and everything's working, but I think what we'll do next is do a test recording uh, and I'll show you how that's going. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching and speak to you all very soon. Take care.